I've opened that up <clears throat> to put that together the they call it a tiger top from the uh, blood gathering mechanism and you're gonna put that right in top of there whoops I already moved, moved that that's gonna go just like so on top of there Okay, so here we have the PRF membrane. Uh, uh, another word for PRF membrane is a snot clot. People, a lot of people call it a snot clot. You'll see why it's called a snot clot in just a second. What we're going to do is go ahead and mix up our, our PRF membrane. We're going to do a large grafted area. So we have uh, 1 uh, sorry, 1.5 cc vial of bone and a couple of 0.25 cc vials of bone. We just wanted to have about 1 cc vial of bone uh, available for the large grafted area that we're going to do. So first you remove the plunger. Obviously we've already uh, gathered four vials of, of uh, blood from the patient and we spun them down. So we're saving three of them for the actual membranes and one of them for the uh, making a nice putty for the, for the patient. So here's here comes this knot clot. All right. So you can just basically grab it like this and literally doesn't matter if that little blood gets everywhere it's not a big deal because we're gonna we're not gonna need it but George do me a favor put a pair of gloves on. oh you got okay. Okay. grab the grab the little vial right there hold that right there perfect so grab this and then now simply grab your other instrument and remove the red part because the red parts already spun down Go ahead and take it, dude. Go ahead and take it. All right. So now you can see. Now you can see the snot clot in your. You can see why they call it snot clot, right? <laughs> All right. So then these obviously are some sterile vials of bone. We're just going to go ahead and mix. Right in there. And make like a little paste and have the, bow, the bone be soaking ahead of time oh, there you go. Here you go. while we have this okay so that's we're gonna let that set for a little bit and then we can drain off the excess liquid and use it in our graft. But we, we wanna keep that nice and moist. All right? Yeah, two by two, dude. If you, I'm just gonna show them. Here, just grab a gauze. So what we can do is just soak off the excess amount just a little bit just so it's not so much liquid in there. And just touch it like that. And again, let the bone soak into the material. All right, that's good. So here's, here's another snot clot membrane. You can see, Dr. Lindsay, if you do me a favor and hold a, hold a little glass vial. There you go. And we're going to remove the red blood cells from the bottom. Red, black, fly. It's pretty solid. Okay. And this is the box that you can purchase as well. Put that right there. Now notice this is a little, like a little flat tortilla maker. Mm -hmm. All right. No. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Just put that on. You can put that sucker on there, the big one, yeah. instead of I'll the small one. It. That's right. Yeah. Do, do you compress it? Or no, just just leave it. Okay. Gravity will take. Care. Gravity, a couple of, five minutes, ten minutes. There you go. Okay, so now we're just going to check the process and the progress of the membrane itself. So we're going to take this little weighted lid off, and you can see the membrane is kind of flattened out there. And we'll put it back. You're there you go. See, and that's basically forming a membrane. So it's just going to let let the gravity process take. The, there we go. The lid has a stop on it so that it stops it at one millimeter thick. Okay. So, so it won't compress any more than that. It, it compresses it to one millimeter thick and stops. Great. Yeah, so it's got a built-in stopper. Uh, stop.